Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this scroll spy indicator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see we have these dots and we can click on any of these dots to go to that section. So if I click on services, we are taken to the services section and if I click on testimonials for example, we are taken to the testimonials section. Now in the previous video, we created all of this. Now in this video, we're going to make it responsive. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is our source code and let's go to the style.css file and uh, let's add a media query. So let's type at media and uh, let's set the max width to let's try 600 pixels. So now if the screen width is less than 600 pixels, all the CSS that we have inside this block will be added to our design. So let's select the scroll indicator division. So here let's type dot scroll indicator and what we will do is uh, we will bring this uh, scroll indicator to the right side so let's set the right position to 20 pixels and uh, let's also add a background so let's type background and let's set it to white and we'll also add a box shadow and let's set the box shadow to 0 4 pixels 40 pixels negative 8 pixels RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and let's also add some padding so let's type padding and let's set the padding to 24 pixels top and bottom and 6 pixels left and right and we'll also have rounded corners so let's type border radius and let's set it to 20 pixels now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this uh, scroll indicator to the right side of the screen by default and we will add an arrow and when we click on the arrow we want to display it in this position right here so by default it will be on the right side so for that let's type transform and translate and let's set it to 40 pixels in the x axis and for the y axis we already have some values over here so here we can see for the scroll indicator we have this translate y of negative 50 percent so we have to maintain that value so here i'll just type negative 50 percent for the y axis All right now we can see this is how it looks now we need to add an arrow so for that we're going to use icons from heroicons.com so here i'm in heroicons.com and let's search for arrow and let's search for an icon i'll just add this icon so let's click on copy svg and uh, let's go back to our html file and here in the scroll indicator i'll just create a division let's give it a class of arrow and here I just paste the SVG. Right now let's go to our CSS file and let's style the arrow. So let's tap scroll indicator arrow. Now first of all let's set a width of 20 pixels and we will position this arrow relative to the scroll indicator. So let's tap position absolute and let's set the left position to negative 20 pixels and let's set the top position to 50%. Right now let's add a background color and uh, let's set it to 2 to 2 and uh, we'll set the color of the icon to white and let's set a padding of 4 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and right now the icon is not exactly in the center so we have to type display of flex now it is exactly in the center now let's add rounded corners to the top left and bottom left so let's type border radius and uh, let's set it to 8 pixels 0 0 and 8 pixels and right now the icon is not exactly in the center vertically so here we have to type transform translate y negative 50 percent now it is exactly in the center let's also set the cursor to pointer so when you hover over this we have this pointer now the next thing we need to do is when we click on this arrow we need to bring this scroll indicator to the left side so for that we're going to add an active class to the scroll indicator so here let's type scroll indicator dot active and uh, here let's type transform translate and let's set it to negative 50 percent and negative 50 percent and we'll also add smooth transition so here i'll just type transition all 400 milliseconds is now if we increase the width of this browser window here we can see that the arrow is displayed over here so we need to hide this arrow when we are on larger screens so here let's type scroll indicator arrow 
and let's set the display to none. And now if we increase the width of the screen, we can see that the arrow is not being displayed. It is only displayed in smaller screens. Right now the last thing we need to do is we need to display the scroll indicator when we click on this arrow. So for that let's go to the main.js file and uh, first of all let's uh, reference the scroll indicator and the arrow. So let's type const scroll indicator equals document.query selector scroll indicator and we also need to select the arrow so let's type const scroll arrow or let's name it scroll indicator arrow equals document.query selector scroll indicator arrow right now let's add an event listener to the scroll indicator arrow so let's type scroll indicator arrow dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function and now the only thing we need to do is add the active class to the scroll indicator so let's type scroll indicator dot class list dot add active and now let's see whether it works so let's click on this arrow and we can see that the scroll indicator is being displayed and uh, I think we can move it a little bit to the right so here let's change this value to let's try 8 pixels and I think that looks alright so let's click on this arrow and we can see that the scroll indicator is being displayed now when we click on this arrow once again the scroll indicator should go back so for that let's go back to our main.js file and here instead of add we need to type toggle right now let's test it out so let's click on this arrow and we have the scroll indicator displayed and if I click on this arrow once again it disappears so everything is working alright let's also click on one of these dots and uh, everything is working alright so this is the mobile version and this is the desktop version so that's basically it with the responsive version of our scroll spy indicator and that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day